25 and 26 September 2023, the ARC Gender team organized a training session on gender mainstreaming for all ARC staff. We need more than halfway through the implementation of the ARC group gender strategy. The overall aim of the training was to deepen the skills of ARC staff in gender mainstreaming and gather input for the development of gender guidelines and checklists towards ensuring gender mainstreaming throughout the ARC project cycle and training ARC staff in gender budgeting. So ARC has adopted the mainstreaming approach to ensure that the gender is integrated in all our uh, operations through our project cycle, hence the importance of the all ARC staff training in gender mainstreaming. In addition to discussing experiences from the field, it also explored gender mainstreaming in the ARC project cycle and highlighted tools in gender mainstreaming, gender analysis, and gender audit. So the issue of capacity becomes inevitable. It is critical that every staff member is conversant of gender concepts, is conversant of what the strategy requires of them, so the capacity building focused mainly on building capacity of ARC in terms of them uh, mainstreaming gender and in terms of um, specifically programming for specific activities that relates to gender. This training was yet another step towards strengthening ARC's ability to mainstream gender in member states and within the organization. The Arc Gender Mainstreaming uh, workshop was a really good opportunity for us to reflect on lessons learned as well as the impact that the Arc Gender Strategy has had in countries. It was very good to hear the positive feedback we have from member states, but also to discuss how well we can make our work more impactful. I personally really enjoyed the gender budgeting section where I could see that gender budgeting is not just about allocating funds to certain gender activities, but is really about looking at um, how the gendered implications of all of our work um, and making sure that we make the correct provisions financially to ensure that our work is impactful. Today was an important reminder that as the issue of extreme weather events gets more intense and frequent, we need to recognize that women and children are impacted differently. Uh, there's vulnerability that is accelerated uh, by virtue of being a woman and children or all the other different gender groups. Um, in our daily work, we want to make sure that we recognize these uh, unique impacts that affect women and children and we tailor our interventions towards really assisting to address those. So really making sure that no one is left out, uh, everyone is included, but we also include, uh, we also recognize uh, the unique uh, impact that they are faced uh, by virtue of being in these different gender groups. Uh, we've been here for two days and it helped me to reflect on the work we're really doing in gender um, since 2018 when I think the unit was establishing her. And what I've really learned in the last two days is that gender mainstream is a slow progress, but definitely a, a way to go in terms of getting to gender equality, both institutionally and for the services we give to the state. The training session ended with the presentation of certificates to all participants who are committed to taking gender aspects into account in their daily activities in order to reduce the risk of gender-based violence in the disaster risk management activities.